What's going on, boys and girls? What's up, world? Austin John Plays here, and today we're going to be seeing how you can use your Nintendo Switch and a Nintendo Switch Lite to be able to play your digital purchases on either system. And you could maybe see Camera 2 over there. Camera 2 has a new job. Isn't that right, Camera 2? You are going to be the camera for the Nintendo Switch Lite, because it doesn't dock. So just in case it's not clear, the Nintendo Switch Lite is right there, and my Nintendo Switch is over here. I've had my Nintendo Switch for a long time. I've brought it from one system to another system, and I've transferred over some of my digital purchases. I haven't put all my cartridges in there. My Nintendo Switch Lite has literally nothing on it. When you first boot up the Nintendo Switch Lite, you get your option if you do want to register your Nintendo account on that device and if you're going to be using your current Nintendo Switch. However, it does need to be on the newest firmware in order for you to do that, so you most likely have to skip that step and then update to version 9.0 which is located right down there, system update version 9.0, and then you'll be able to do this. Let's go ahead and zoom in more. Wow, that's pretty impressive. He's kind of far away. If you were to have your Nintendo Switch and you're getting rid of your Switch in favor of your Switch Lite, you would go to transfer your user data. However, in order to share your games between two systems, we're gonna go to add user. From here, we're gonna go to import user data from another console. This is the same prompt you may see when you first boot up your Switch Lite. Do you still have the console you want to import? Sure do. Will you keep using the previous console in addition to this one? Uh-huh. And now we can link our Nintendo account. It goes without saying that you do need to be connected to the internet in order to sign into your Nintendo account. If you don't remember which Nintendo account you sign into or you don't remember the password that you used, on your current Nintendo Switch, you could go to your profile in the top left corner, go to user settings, and you'll see Nintendo account, and luckily it already kind of censors it for me. I really like typing on this. This is so nice for my girl hands. After accessing my Nintendo account on the Switch Lite, it should automatically pull your Mi icon as well as your face, which, as you can see, the two match perfectly. This user will be added to the console. Okay. Please wait. The user has been added to the console. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the user that I created just for setup purposes. And as we can see right here, boom. It even shows me the amount of current friend requests that I have, which is 11, and it syncs perfectly between the two. Now, for the fun part, we're gonna head to the eShop. It may prompt you on your password again, totally normal. And now we're gonna go to our already purchased and downloaded games, well, downloaded on our other system. And for that, you're actually going to go to your icon in the top right corner up there. Here you're gonna see the option for re-download, and here I'm gonna re-download Cadence of Hyrule Crypt and the Necrodancer featuring the Legend of Zelda for the Nintendo Switch full title. And you're gonna see that it's currently installing. Now on my main Switch, I'm gonna go ahead and boot up the game. So Cadence of Hyrule is done downloading on our Switch Lite and I just booted into a game down here. Uh, why? Because it's good background music. <laughs> now I'm going to go to launch the game and it's going to see checking if the software can be played. And now we get play is being suspended. Downloaded software or downloadable content may be being played on another console using the same Nintendo account. That's completely expected because as you can see down here, I'm totally playing it. Now, if I were to go to close out, now let's launch it on the Switch Lite, and boom, it loads no problem. If I go to launch it on my regular Switch, I'm expecting an error code very shortly. There it is. There's the error code. So it seems like my primary Nintendo Switch will take priority over my Nintendo Switch Lite, which is great. Now, if I were to go ahead and play a different game from the eShop on my primary Nintendo Switch, so let's launch up Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and now going to launch Cadence of Hyrule Crypt to the Necrodancer featuring the Legend of Zelda for Nintendo Switch, it's going to check if the software could be played. And it's going to say that play is being suspended. So even if you're playing a different game, even if you're playing a physical game, you're not able to do it between two different consoles. So regardless of the game that you are playing, 
that one profile can only access a game at a time. As you can see right here, I went to go launch Mario Kart, and on my Switch Lite it says, you can't play Crypt in the Necrodancer, which is good. This is exactly how it's designed to work, and I think it's fantastic. This is done in order to prevent people from abusing this, and having one Nintendo Switch and multiple people using it at the same time. Now you may be wondering as far as cloud backups, because I sure the heck am. As you're gonna see right here when I go to launch it on my Switch, light I don't have the option for continue so clearly my online data has not downloaded going into the system settings going to data management and then save data cloud you're gonna see all save data and then you see save data not on this console we can see here that there are backup save data found that are not on the console so let's go ahead scroll down till we can find Wow, I did not realize that it was backing up this many games that's pretty awesome. Oh, Stardew Valley is here? That's great. Why isn't it showing up? Oh, if I go to all save data, it says not backed up. So the reason it didn't automatically back up or download anything is because it's conflicted, which is great. Because last thing I want is on my Switch Lite, if I were to play my game and it didn't download the most recent save data, I could it could back that up and erase that on the cloud. So it looks like I could go to download save data, overwrite console save data, yes. Downloading. One minute remaining. Download complete. So now we could just launch it and my save data is there. The exact same save data, including the new game that I just created. Boom. Wow. That is so fluid. So just like that, it just works. And one important thing to note is at no point did I go into my original Nintendo Switch and choose to back things up. Those are just things that were automatically backed up. If you have your cloud backup with the Nintendo online service, it's just there. So on your Switch Lite for any game, say for example, without anything on this right now, if I were to leave my house, go to a vacation house that has Wi-Fi and I'm there for two weeks and there's nothing on here, that's fine. I didn't even need it to sign in in the first place. <laughs> I could go to the store in another country, go buy a Switch Lite, do this process, download all my games and my save data. Which I'm pretty sure all the games that do not support cloud backups are the games that involve outside trading that could be manipulated, such as Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. Uh, Animal Crossing supposedly is not going to have this backup feature, but like if I were to go and download or put in Breath of the Wild, I can download all my save data and I'm good to go. This is fantastic. Guys, this is how you, as one person, access all of your digital games and all of your save data on both of your Nintendo Switches if you go out and decide to buy a Nintendo Switch Lite, which releases Friday, September 20th, 2019. Guys, if this was helpful or informative, do me a favor to leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.